It is similar to uh, Oscar night for some underprivileged youth. We're talking about the Kids in the Spotlight first annual red carpet fundraiser. That's right, Ellen McKay, live this morning with more on the film festival celebrating movies by kids for kids. Good morning. Hi, Allie. Good morning, guys. Yeah, last segment, we went through the whole writing process. Right now, they're doing some casting for their movies. If you're just joining us, Taiji, this is an amazing event happening this Saturday. Yes. But if people are just joining us, what exactly is this foundation? Kids in the Spotlight, where we make movies by kids for kids. And basically, they go through a 10-week session of uh, five weeks of writing, three weeks of acting, one day of casting, which is what you're seeing right now, and two weeks of production. And all of this culminates into an annual film festival competition. And that takes place this Saturday. We're going to get into that in a minute. But right now, they're doing the casting. And here, listen. Oh, you can look at the part of Jade, if you're willing to play it. Sure. I'm willing oh, to play any They're now thinking maybe she's better for a different part. That's just whole the whole casting process here. And what I love is they are so into it, so serious. At the end, before, I heard them say, thank you so much for coming. We'll yeah. be in touch. <laughs> Absolutely. Amazing. They're very serious about mm -hmm. their scripts that they wrote, and they want the best person to play the role. So they audition Hollywood actors to come out and audition for their scripts. And we actually have one of the clips right now from one of the eight shorts that you will see on Saturday. Here it is. Where am I? Let me go! Give me your mother's number. No way, dude! Come on, give it to me! Alright, it's... No, 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 no! And we have got Neil Zanvil here from DCFS, and it's so important for these kids. What are, what are they getting out of this? Well, when the kids are coming to our system, they're withdrawn, they're removed from their homes, they're at, uh, in a new neighborhood, in a new school. Mm -hmm. This is an amazing process that helps them get in touch with themselves, help process their traumas, and they have some amazing stories to tell. Mm -hmm. And it must be so empowering at the end of this. You just saw yourself go through a whole process and know that anything is possible. Yeah, self-esteem is what we're talking about here, and, and, and these kids uh, connect to themselves and uh, others, and after being disconnected, this is a very empowering process. Absolutely, and you guys can check this all out here at Raleigh Studios on Saturday. It's the big film festival. It's a whole red carpet event. It's like a mini Oscars. There's going to be awards, plus you're going to see all eight of the short films. Coming up, makeup and lights, camera, action. We are going to get those kids out there shooting a flick for us. So All much right. more Very coming cool. up. Look at these mini casting They're directors. amazing. And Mark was just saying it. we can pretty much guarantee we're going to see one of them on this desk in a few years. So. They're the leaders of the Absolutely. future. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank no you question. so much, Al. All right. Well, it mm -hmm. is 643. And